The two-day Tattersall's July sale concluded at Park Paddocks on Friday with joint top lots of 130,000 guineas and a healthy clearance rate of 96%. Kodiak Mayor Kaladzia became the first lot to reach the sale topping price when knocked down to buyer Tim Lane. The Highclere stud consigned own sister to Prince of Lear also counts on Group 3 winner Resplendent Glory in the pedigree and was covered by the Highclere stud Landforce before being signed for by Tim Lane. She ticked all the boxes really, uh, with Prince Lear going so well and Kodiak fillies seem to be all the rage and seem, you know, broodmare sire and she to a, you know, obviously a first season sire, Landforce, who, you know, is a lovely looking horse and they're very keen to get her really. She was very, very athletic, very loose walking, uh, quality really, yeah. she stood out really, it showed. And what's the plan for her now? I don't know about matings, I'm afraid, I was just sort of summoned to come and do the job uh, to try and buy her and then they'll make a plan going forward really, I think. And did you value her at about that level? Yeah, I think, I think they were willing to give a bit more, you know, so I think she, you know, she was a bit of value really. And 130,000, Alden and sold up top here at 130. Tim Lane, thank you, 130 buys her. The second lot to make 130,000 guineas was Scat Daddy Mayor New Jazz, who was signed for by Tony Nurses on behalf of Imad Al Sagar and Blue Diamond Stud. Sold in full to Harry Angel, the mayor is destined to visit the purchaser's own stallion decorated night in the future and was one of 42 lots sold as part of the Godolphin draft, who ended the sale as the leading consigners with turnover of 1.27 million guineas. Another Godolphin consigned mare offered in foal to their stallion Harry Angel was Lot 393, Shamadal mare Gentlewoman, who proved popular with purchasers, including Kevin Buckley, who pushed the eventual successful buyer Roger Varian to 125,000 guineas to secure the well-related individual. Acting on behalf of an international client signed for as Ebonos, Varian confirmed she would be heading on her travels post-sale and cited her attractive pedigree, herself out of an own sister to Middle Park winner Lou Jane, as the appeal to her new owners. Another consignment with a large draft at the sale was Shadwell Stud, who sold a total of 28 lots, headlined by Dark Angel Mayor Monya, who was knocked down to Kevin Buckley on behalf of David and Diane Nagel's Baronstown Stud for 100,000 guineas. The successful purchasers bred the mare, who was a half-sister to Group 2 winners Hawksmoor and Royal Dornock. Lot 388, Zarnitsa, also covered by Harry Angel and sold by Godolphin, made 90,000 guineas when sold to Tony O'Callaghan of Tally Ho Stud. The daughter of Dubawi is a half-sister to six winners, including listed winner Zorion, and is set to visit the purchaser's own stallion Kodiak as part of a policy to upgrade their broodmare band. At the conclusion of the sale, Tattersall's marketing director, Jimmy George, expressed their view on trade under difficult circumstances. I think when, when we reflect on any of the sales that have taken place in the last few weeks, it has to be slightly qualified by you know, the extraordinary circumstances under which everything's taking place. But uh, in a normal year, if we had a Tattersall's July sale, which had a 96% clearance rate, we'd be thrilled to bits. But we've had a 96% clearance rate in the 2020 Tattersall's July sale. With everything that the world has thrown at everybody in recent months, I think that is truly extraordinary. And we're not going to pretend that this has been the best ever sale to take place at Tattersall's, but under the circumstances, I think everybody can be absolutely delighted with the way things have gone and can be proud of their contribution, whether they're purchasers or vendors. Everybody has done their level best to keep this show on the road, to keep the wheels of the industry turning. And we've seen that in, in an extraordinary international demand we've had at the July sale over the last couple of days, which has defied all the all sort of pre-sale expectations and, uh, and and defied really what's going on in the outside world. So we've had buyers from nearly 20 different countries in the course of the past couple of days really keen to get their hands on quality stock at all levels of the market and, and I think that's fantastic to reflect upon. I think one of the things we've learned in, in, in recent weeks is how important the introduction of the live internet bidding platform has been and uh, again at the July sale we've seen widespread use of that. The overseas buyers have had to be resourceful, they've had to take advantage of every possible 
avenue uh, in, by which to participate at the recent sales and uh, the live internet bidding platform has really taken off in that respect and uh, has helped not just the July sale but all the breeze up sales that we've held in the last few weeks as well. Every single sale at Tattersall's in the last few weeks has achieved a clearance rate in excess of 80%, culminating in the 96% clearance rate in the last couple of days, which is uh, fantastic and uh, a real reflection of how hard everybody's worked to make things happen.